Next, I have Tyshawn Alexander. He's a 22-year-old, 6'4", 195-pound guard out of Creighton. He averaged 16.9 points, 5 rebounds, and 2.3 assists on 43.1% of the field, 39.9% from 3, and 86% uh, percent for the line. My strengths are that he's a really nice form on his jump shot. He's a great uh, three-point shooter. He can shoot both off the catch and the dribble. He's a great free-throw shooter as well, which is always a good uh, sign for a shot to transition. That's something that NBA teams uh, have based shooting off of a lot for years is if you're a good free-throw shooter. He moves off the ball very, very well. Uh and does a great job of running off screens to get catch-and-shoot threes. He's a very good perimeter defender who has really quick feet, moves well on them, and puts in good effort. He's also a very good off-ball defender who does a great job of navigating around screens, staying focused on his man, and rotating to open shooters well. Uh, he's a very aggressive on-ball defender who's just a large pester and annoyance for the ball handlers. He's someone who's willing to uh, guard pretty high up court just to annoy his guy. He has the ability to play both guard position, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, a good versatility for him. And he just fits that role of a 3 and D player that literally every team can use. Any team could use Tyshawn Alexander. Uh, my weaknesses, though, he does have a leak. Uh, he does lack an elite first step, uh, and that lack of first step definitely causes him to struggle to get to the basket. And at the next level, with even more athletic defenders, uh, guys who have even better length than in college, that's definitely going to hurt him. Uh, he doesn't finish at the basket very well, and he especially struggles to finish through contact. Uh, that could definitely be a... Uh, because he is a smaller player who doesn't have uh, a great frame yet. He's not very strong yet. Uh, his lack of ball handling... Uh, limits him to be a creator at the next level and he's gonna need someone alongside him uh, who can play make uh, and can create well as those are two parts of his game that he really just doesn't have he's pretty average as a playmaker uh, pretty average to even below average as his uh, shot creator for himself he can be taken advantage of by bigger and stronger players like i said needs to put on some more size needs to put on some more weight uh, his defensive aggressiveness even though it's nice uh, and I do like it. It can cause him to be beat at time when when he is a little bit too aggressive, uh, especially on the off ball. Uh, he's an older player with an uh, unlimited ceiling, and that limited uh, ceiling is because his athleticism and size just doesn't really stand out. It's not bad by any means. Like, he's 6'4 with a decent wingspan, uh, but it's just not great. It's decent. I'm as a top 55 to 65 prospect. I'm fitting best with the Hawks. Just fits that prototypical 3 and D wing uh, next to Trey Young. Uh, and he's a guy who uh, can catch and shoot the ball very well. Will just run off screens for Trey Young. Uh, and like I said, he's someone who's going to need a really good ball handler and playmaker next to him. So I just like that fit a lot. I haven't compared to Courtney uh, Courtney Lee and Catavius Caldwell Pope, two guys who are, have just been three and D guys throughout their career, uh, and have made roles out of that. I think Tyshawn Alexander, though not being the greatest player by any means, uh, can definitely carve out a role for himself in the NBA, especially if that shot continues to be as good as uh, it was in college. What I definitely expect.